What's up guys, Bearded Jeeper here, and today I'm giving you five reasons why I think you should work on your own rig. So reason number one is you have a sense of accomplishment. Anytime you work on your rig, you get that feel of, I did this, I completed something, I learned how to do it. So it's a real good sense of accomplishment and a good real boost to your ego that says, hey, I know how to do this. I know what I'm doing. You may start off small. You may start off with just an oil change, general maintenance. But then as you gain experience and you learn what you're doing, you can tackle bigger and more difficult installs and start doing stuff to your Jeep that you've wanted to do. Number two is you know what tools you need. You know if you need a 13 millimeter socket, you know if you need a 17 millimeter wrench, you know exactly what the tools are you need. I know off the top of my head that I need a 21 and a 22 millimeter socket to undo my brake calipers. Normally you would only need a 21 millimeter, but when I was working on my own Jeep, I broke one of the bolts, had to replace it with a bolt of a comparable size, so that ended up being a 22 millimeter. So I know on the driver's side, I need both a 21 and a 22 millimeter. So it really helps to work on your Jeep, you know what tools you're gonna need. Another quick thing about knowing what tools you're gonna need is once you start working on your rig, you're gonna know what tools you need to keep in your trail bag so you have them if you break on the trail. Oh hey, I have everything in my tool bag I need to take out the front axle shaft and replace it you know what spare parts you need to keep in your Jeep whether it be spare u-joints a whole axle shaft whatever you need you know because you've worked on your Jeep what you're gonna need So that kind of leads into the third reason I think you should work on your own Jeep. You know how to fix it when you're on the trails. Say something comes loose, you flood your engine, you break an axle shaft, you break an axle. Axle tube, not even connected. You know how to repair it if anything were to break on the trail and you're not gonna hold everyone up for a long time and you may be able to help one of your buddies out as well. Now you may not have all the tools you need, but a simple socket set can start a lot of your smaller just maintenance tasks on your vehicle. As you go along, you're gonna get more and more tools. You're gonna slowly gain a, quite the toolbox of if, if you need specialty tools, specialty sockets, you'll have all the sizes you need right on hand because you've gone out and bought this tool or that tool, and you learn what tools make the job easier. Now reason four, you're gonna save some money. Shop prices can be unbelievably high. You're gonna pay the hourly rate, whatever it is, 75, 100, even more an hour. Plus you're gonna pay for parts and you're gonna pay for however long it takes them to fix your Jeep. If you know how to do some stuff, I'm not saying you need to know how to do every little thing on your Jeep, but if you know some of the basic things like changing your oil, changing your spark plugs, doing little fixes, upgrades here and there, you're gonna save yourself a ton of money and you can put that into more upgrades for your Jeep. My final reason is you're gonna gain that experience where you can help someone else on the trail or just fixing up your buddy's rig. If you're out wheeling with a group of friends and one of you breaks on a trail, you can jump in and help your buddy change a tire or replace his axle shaft or whatever he needs. If you know how to wrench on a Jeep, you're gonna be invaluable on the trail. I know a lot of people have jumped in and helped me out, especially like when I snapped my axle in half. Everyone, who could jumped in and gave a hand helping me out and getting my Jeep out of the woods. So I really appreciated that and I'm sure other people who break on the trail would appreciate if other people jump in to help them out. So those are my five reasons why I think you should be working on your own Jeep. Even if you start today with a simple oil change, if you don't know how to do it, look it up. There's plenty of direction and guidance on YouTube. You can find 
plenty of resources out there that show you exactly what to do step by step so you can learn and you don't have to spend all that money going to get an oil change. Now, no, this isn't saying you should go and start doing engine swaps and fabricating full cages or anything, but I definitely think it's great to start working on your vehicle as you get more confident and you learn new skills you're going to learn to do new things on your jeep and it's just going to make you feel good that you did it and not someone else and you know how to fix it if it broke now when i started working on my jeep tinkering on my jeeps back when i first got a vehicle i didn't know hardly anything but slowly as i've worked on it as i've learned as i've talked to people helped them work on their vehicles I've learned more and more each time I do it. And YouTube is a great resource if you wanna learn. There's tons of automotive channels out there so you can learn how to fix your Jeep or any other vehicle for that matter of fact. So I hope you guys enjoyed these five reasons why I think you should be working on your own vehicle. And let me know in the comments below if you're working on your own vehicle and I hope this inspires you to start working on your own vehicle. And if you have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments below. As always, guys, stay bearded, stay jeepin'. I'm out. Been a little too nice for y'all. Now I gotta up price for y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. A6 all the hate. I won't get a ball today. Got lost in the ball and A's. I'm flipping the bars, I'm flipping the flipping the flipping the all record, off record. I still count wins when they got it. On record, off record. I let them take advantage. I was